Hello, welcome back to another video. I thought I would do um, a shop update video uh, just to give you some progress on how I'm getting on, what's going on, challenges I've faced. Um, so I'm in the unit at the moment and we've got a lot of stuff out. So I will just pan around and show you the situation. So my table's gone. There's actually room to move a flipping trolley in here and all my boxes are gone. Um, I've taken some racking down. Um, still a lot to do. So what I've got is um, a truck, seven and a half ton looting truck coming. Um, because this, it's all on a pallet, so that can just be pumped straight out. That can be pumped straight out. There's one over there that can be pumped straight out and that one over there. So all of this stuff here, I'm gonna put onto these pallets and um, take away on Saturday morning. I think we've got that. Um, 90 pound for 24 hours for the looting van. So really good rates. Um, I'm hoping to make some progress on all this. So this is all listed stock. So, um, make some progress into that and i'll probably take that cardboard in in the Luton van and then it's just a little bit of a challenge getting all these little bits and bobs little mugs and all that sort of stuff um probably do one at a time take the racking down put it up in the other place um so yeah lots of Lots of moving done, thanks to my friend John yesterday for helping me out. Uh, probably done about eight, well, four journeys, eight car loads, and uh, yeah, so we've done pretty well here. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to fill the trolley with as much stuff as I can, um, take it over to the shop, and when I get there, I'll show you what's happened at the shop. Um, I would say it's kind of an end of an era being in the unit, but I wouldn't really call four months an era. Um, but it served me well. Um, it's given me that sort of springboard for the next level of reselling. The reason I had it was because I had the opportunity to buy four grand's worth of kitchen stock, kitchen craft stock. It was like... Cheese boards, mugs, teapots, chopping boards, knife sets, which you can't sell on eBay, um, scissors, like it was literally like thousands of, of items, four grand. Uh, so the only reason I had to have a unit was because if I had to have, if I went for that opportunity, I would have had to have somewhere to put it. And a lot of it I haven't listed. A lot of it I have listed, but there's so much I haven't gone through. And there's a lot of like, Christmas stuff, which I need to get around to listing, like Christmas trees, little Christmas village sets and stuff. Uh, but I'm thinking about because of the lockdown, uh, maybe using them and putting them on Facebook Marketplace and delivering them. Um, and the other thing is they come with a Euro plug, so I'll have to get like 20 plugs in, so that's the other thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and stop saying so yeah, because I've noticed I say it a lot. Um, when I'm struggling to what to say. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm gonna fill this trolley up, get it over, and um, yeah, show you around the shop. So, I'll see you in a bit, bye bye. Okay, we're back at the shop, and yeah, I've been moving stuff in, moving records in. Um, so, I'll show you what's what I've done so far. Last time you seen it, it was just like an empty shell, so I'll just come over here. Um, right, so... Records... Got quite a lot of records there. I mean, this is just not even... Nowhere near what I've got to bring over. Records, 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 records. Um, new edition is this Chesterfield. Picked this up off uh, eBay. 
Um, the, the, the thing about them, they don't lose value and it's in really good condition. So um, yeah, there was a local collection off eBay. So yeah, it'd be a nice like, sort of sit down, chill out area for customers or family and friends who want to pop along. Um, these, are, these are mostly like trash pound records but I mean they do sell sometimes Bing Crosby Seasons they do sell what's this one Books Fizz yeah so that were that box there and then bags there that was a somebody contacted me on Instagram saying I've got some records do you want to buy them I was like yeah go on, I'll have them Good price and a lot of records for the price, so yeah, thanks, thanks for that. Um, that trolley has been a real help bringing stuff in from the car. Uh, I'll just load up, the, load up stuff, load up records, and wheel it in. So it's still getting used, even though the car bit season is over. Well, it might be over. Let me turn the light on now. So this area is just like stuck. Um, random bits. I'll probably organise it a bit better when I get a chance. Um, yeah, more stuck. I'm just waiting. The bits for this are everywhere. This plan will be. I'm just waiting for them to arrive. And um, I'll put that all together. It's not listed yet, so it's something I need to get around to doing. And back room. <laughs> so as you can see, I've been busy um, putting the racking up, so I had loads of racking that I hadn't put up for the um, the unit, so made it a priority here. So that's all listed stock there, um, and in general it is all listed, yeah. Um, really high ceiling, so I can go quite high up. Um, just a case of bringing stuff in and getting it getting it on the racks and in here it smells very really musty in here and get some sort of like stuff for the carpet i think this carpet's causing the issue and yeah another racking up in here and i'm going to fit another one here So as you can see, like we are getting there, making progress. One more room. So I've got my table up. So this is my listing station, um, photography area. Um, nice to have four plug sockets there. So if I'm doing any testing of electricals, um, or if I'm doing some pictures of TVs or retro games or consoles and that sort of stuff, it's all ready prepared and set up for me so yeah that's really handy and this is the other this so this was all the stock that was in there this is all unlisted and a lot of it is like car boot fodder so if i was just to stick my hand in one of these boxes what's in there like flasks and little egg pans and all sorts of stuff. So now, like, I've got sticky foam tapes and what are these? Like measuring ice stainless steel ice tongs. Just literally, I can't. I mean, it's not really for eBay. Too cheap stuff. It's that an adjustable measuring spoon. And knives, which you can't sell on either. Well, I've got tons of that sort of stuff. Um, there's a, there's a handy like chopping board which you can fold and do all that with. Glass towels. These feel really weird on your hands. Like, I think they make the glass a bit shiner. Eagle e, e towel, better performer than tea towel. Whatever. Um, I haven't, some of this I haven't even looked at, smart space, electronic 
scales. Oh, what's this? A masher. Folding masher. I actually need one of these. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's car boot. I think it's gonna be for next year's car boots. Um no rush to sell it. Well I might just like open this section up sometimes and say like well come and have a look. Maybe. So much so much stuff. So many things I could do. So many ideas. Um I've given my notice in, I can't remember if I said this in the unit, but I've given my notice in on the unit. Uh, I've got two weeks to get out of there. Um, I would really recommend Titan Storage. Um, they're all over, they're dotted around the country. Uh, the one in Birmingham is in Monk's Path. Really easy to work with. Um, 24 hour access. Uh, good, good secure location. Uh, well, the one that I was, well, I was in anyway. Um, and good facilities because like the trolleys and, and the lift and you know and it's all indoors and for a good price I've seen other resellers and the price for their storage units are pretty high for the small space that they got I know obviously it's all where you live so yeah think about moving <laughs> Move somewhere cheaper. Um, so, nearly said it then. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll try and keep you updated. This room yesterday was a mess. What I'll try and do is I'll add some pictures in the corners as I was like a before and after because this room was a state. Um, it's, it can get like, you don't know where to start. So, yeah, I managed to clear this room because then four pallets are coming in here on Saturday. So I've got to have a clear space. And then I've got to find out where I've got to put all that stuff in the back areas. I'll probably break it all down and put it onto the, the racking. Um, so, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments and all the support and all the... Um, the names for the shop it's been really appreciated i do try and reply to each each person even it's just a thumbs up so you know i do read the comments so really appreciated um i did have a name for the shop um but i think i've changed my mind let me close this door a second i did have a name for the shop but when I was thinking about it, it might confuse people. So the name was going to be um, Techno Notice Records. Now, if you're walking past that shop, you might think, well, he just sells techno records, which I don't. I sell like a mixture of mixture of records, but it's mainly dance music. So I'm having second thoughts on that. And there's been some really good ideas in the chat, but I do have one um which i'm i'm really liking the sound of so i'll i think when i've done the sign um i'm going to convert that i'm allowed to convert that sign into um my own so whether i uh, vinyl wrap it or spray paint it um i know a really good spray painter and I, but i don't think the the landlord wants it spray painted because it's his sign and it it i don't know he might think that he might look like crap, so mate, I don't know. I'll have to um, I have to get the price on the vinyl. If the price on the vinyl wrapping's too high, um, I'm not going to do it. I'll probably just go spray down the spray paint route. Um, I think that's all for this update. Um, yeah, there's gonna still a lot, a lot of stuff to do. Um, a lot of toing and throwing. So I'll just be glad when I'm in. Um, there's no rush. I mean, I've got four weeks. And even then, there's no rush. It's not going to be like a huge launch party or anything. It'll just like a soft launch. Um, yeah, so... Oh, I said it! Oh! <laughs> oh, God.
Oh, okay. Say that.